Hi everyone, thank you so much for being with me today. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but sometimes I lose all creative inspiration and I have no idea what to paint. I sometimes lay all my studio out with my canvas and an idea of the paints that I'm gonna use and I hit a brick wall. And that's me being totally honest with you because I've struggled over the last couple of weeks to find some inspiration on what to paint. However, let me tell you what I do. So I do take a step back and I think to myself why I painted in the first place and it's all about the fun that I have and experimenting with different mediums, different paints, different brands, different canvas types. So what I do is I go back to basics and I look on YouTube and look at all the fluid acrylic artists that have inspired me over the years and I came across a video that Olga Sobi did and she did a reversed uh, Dutch pour. And I thought, wow, do you know what? I'm gonna give that a go. Now, I'm gonna go um, all blue, blue and silver, and the, the, the paint color that I'm going to blow over those colors is gonna be a titanium white by Montmartre. So I'm gonna give the reverse Dutch pour a go. Olga, thank you so much for the, your video. It's re-inspired me to try again something different. So I'm gonna go on a big canvas and it's gonna be one of my biggest I've done. Here we go. I'm gonna use a 40 inch by 30 inch. I think it's 101 by 70 centimeters. Um, I'll link all the um, dimensions in the, in the description below. But I just wanted to let you know, I'm so really, really, really thankful for all the support I've had since launching my channel. Thank you so much. If you're new, I hope you get to see some of the videos I've done previously. And I also wanted to let you know that, you know, we all go through those periods of time where we just lose all kind of uh, focus and inspiration on what we're going to paint. That is totally, totally normal. I don't want you to ever feel that you're going through um, a phase on your own because all artists, whether they admit it or not, do go through those struggles as well. So I hope this is gonna be a fun video for you to see, and I hope it also inspires you to give the reverse Dutch pour a go. Um, let's see what we can create. Okay, so let me just uh, show you the paint tones that I'm gonna use for this piece. So I'm gonna use a silver, and that's by uh, De La Rowney. And then I'm going to use a Prussian blue hue, that's by System 3 Acrylic. Um, I'm going to go for the Wedgwood. I love the Wedgwood tone and especially how it dries. Um, if you've not tried that colour, uh, give it a go. I highly recommend that. Um, I'm also going to use two tones by Amsterdam. The first one is the uh, Manganese Blue Phalo and then the Sky Blue Light colour. And then my, uh, my white is going to be Titanium White by Montmartre. I've got my torch to hand so I can get rid of the air bubbles. I have just mixed these paints. So yeah, let's, let's, let's go for it. Okay, so I have a, uh, a 40 by 30 inch canvas. I can just about reach. Um, I'm hoping that the angle that I set you so you can see um, how I create this is the best one. I'm going to um, put my, my titanium white um, across the middle, I'm not going to do it from end to end because I want to be able to um, blow out on the on all four sides. Um, and then I'm going to put the blue and the silvers all the way round. And then the reverse Dutch pour is I'm going to blow the white paint over all the other colours. I'm hoping to create some, some lacing and cells. There's no cell activator in the mixture. Uh, but I'm using different brands and for me that works with, with cells and lacing. So fingers crossed that happens. Okay, so I'm nervous. Wish me luck. Let's go for it. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the white paint just along the edge here. And this is the colour that I'm going to blow across uh, all the other colours. So I think, uh, what I've got to bear in mind is this is a big canvas, so I need enough paint to blow across. So I think I'm gonna use it all. I've got some spare, some spare paint just in case. Okay. Mm, yes, 
let's ooh, let's hope this works guys if it doesn't work then we start again right there's always for this cup okay so let's start with the wedgewood I love the wedgewood colour I don't know if you've used wedgewood before but it's a absolutely gorgeous colour some there, put a little bit around the side, put some on this side, okay, some here, okay, a bit more up there. I just hope I've mixed enough paint. I'm sure I have. So Let's go for the light sky blue. I don't mind if they kind of go over the top of each other. Mix. Struggling to reach. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. Okay, then I'll go for this one. I love this colour. I haven't used this this tone before. Um, it's just very bright and it pops. It's gorgeous. Oh, ooh, a bit too much there. So remember what I said, the idea is to get the white paint and blow it across. So let's just hope that works. I've never done a reverse Dutch pour before, so I hope it um, goes to plan. Okay, one of my favourite darker blue colours is the Prussian blue. I'm going to put this on the edge there I want some just at the edge here for when I blow it out because I love that colour okay some here I hope I don't waste too much paint it's so so difficult sometimes to judge how much paint you need um you know, everything is just by the eye for me. I don't necessarily measure. Maybe I should. Maybe that's what I should start doing. Okay, I wanted some silver. So I wanted it to um, have a bit of shine. So I'm just going to layer this silver all the way along each side. Do the same up here. Oh, I can already see some cells. Okay, is that enough silver? Let's put some more on the edge. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I do have some spare white paint and I'm just going to put a touch more in the middle and blow that out. Okay. Let's hope this works. Okay, I'm going, there's, there's quite a lot of air bubbles, so I'm just gonna use my torch to get rid of those. Okay, so. Who's ready? Should I just leave it like this? What do you think? Okay. So I think I'm going to start here and blow up. I'm going to do the middles. And then I'm going to do the corners, the, the edge, the corners, and then come back down on myself.
Okay, you won't see this on camera, but I am getting pain everywhere. But hey, <laughs> it's, it's fun. Some of the cells and the lacing here is just gorgeous. I am loving this. don't want too much paint in a puddle left in the middle um, mainly because I don't want it to be cracking as it's drying but I think it's pretty consistent I might just need to fiddle around here and just blow it out a little bit more but I'm going to take you in for a closer look now just so you can see what I can see okay so I've had to stand back quite a bit just to get everything in but look at this absolutely love the uh, the tones that I've used all well, this the cells and lacing that are just popping up I'm gonna just fiddle with this bit this area here there's too much silver there so I'm gonna try and blow a little bit more blue over that yeah I'm really happy really really happy with this okay so what did I learn? So I, what I learned from this is I initially put too much white paint in the middle because I had to blow over the same section a couple of times. And I don't normally like doing that because that's going to muddy uh, some of the colours. So I do try and avoid that when I can. Um, I did use too much paint. As you can see, there's quite a bit that's kind of come off the edges. But I do have good edge coverage. So there's not going to be too much uh, touching up that I'm going to need to do. Obviously, I'm going to get rid of the drips because I don't want the um, these drips here. I don't want them pulling the design off the canvas. Yeah. Um, let's hope and pray that it that it dries well. So I'll show you the dried version next. OK, so this is the dried version. I'll show you it on the wall shortly. Um, it's dried really well, but guys, I've had some cracking and that's because the paint has obviously dried at various rates and I had, I still had too much paint in the middle with the white. Um, but do you know what? I'm going to live with that. This is, uh, this is a piece that I'm still really proud of. Um, okay. There's a few cracks in it, but I know why that's happened. So 
it, you know, I'm still happy, really happy with this piece. Uh, what do you think? I'd really love to know what you think about this piece and this design and what you see in this piece as well. Just drop them in the comments below. Okay, here we go. So this is in my living room, actually, on the wall. Um, I really, do you know what? I really love the blue tones that I chose for this. And I do love some of those cells and some of the lacing. I've never done a reverse Dutch pour before, so this is this is a good thing for me. Um, let me know what you think. I really do like this, and I hope you like it too. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a good week. Bye.